So is it possible that we've gotten hell all wrong? Kevin Miller, originally from Foam Lake, Saskatchewan, grew up in the mainline United Church of Canada, but joined the Mennonite Church as a teenager. Then, after attending a Mennonite Bible college and spending some time in an interdenominational seminary, Kevin briefly participated in several non-denominational evangelical churches before becoming an Anglican. Kevin's well-rounded. He's also a family man, sophisticated reader of the Bible, writer, director, and producer. Kevin's latest project, Hellbound, is sure to push your buttons. I had the chance to ask Kevin a number of questions about the movie and the subject of hell. So to start things off, I asked Kevin what his personal motivation was to do a movie about such a culturally controversial subject. Was it biblical? Was it personal? But keep in mind, is it possible we've gotten hell all wrong? To start things off, why don't you call me with your opinion? one 888 call or 2255 Go to our webpage, itsyourcall.tv. Here's Kevin as to why the movie Hellbound. I can say personally, uh, you can probably trace this film back to when I became a Christian at age nine. I went off to a Bible camp with a Mennonite friend of mine, and I was converted at camp, and I came home that summer. And I remember looking at my family working in the garden that evening and, and realizing with a sinking feeling in my stomach that if they didn't come to understand what I just um, came to believe, they were all going to go to hell. Uh, the problem was I was probably more afraid of telling them I'd become a Christian than I was of them going to hell because I knew that they, you know, just kind of made fun of the uh, evangelicals around us who wouldn't work on Sundays and that sort of thing. And as a nine-year-old kid, you're not about to just step out and say that now you've become one of them. Uh, so I think that um, what happened to me is when I became a Christian, something really good happened, but, but something crept in with that, and that is fear. And so I think I probably, although I don't recall exactly, I probably uh, became a Christian in response to not wanting to go to hell. Now, I think that fear really percolated underneath my faith for many years, and it um, constantly uh, had me wondering, you know, had I done enough? Had I prayed the right way, you know, I ran into a hardcore Calvinist one time who had me convinced I'd undergone a false uh, conversion experience, and, and, but fear is always lurking, because you're told God loves you, but then um, if you don't love Him back in the right way, or say the right prayer, or believe the right things, well, you might end up in a horrible place. Well, for me, the thing that really helped me, um, that pointed me toward making Hellbound, was actually working on a book by a guy who's in the movie named Brad Jersack. It's a book called Her Gates Will Never Be Shut, Hope, Hell, and the New Jerusalem. And what that book opened me up to was the idea that, contrary to the way I'd been brought up, there was actually more than one way to look at this, and that the idea of eternal torment in hell was, was just one of many different ways of interpreting what the Bible has to say about what will happen to us after we die. And so in Brad's book, I get introduced to three main views, the first one being eternal torment, the second being annihilationism, and the third being universalism. And within each one of these views, there's, there's you know, different strains of each as well. And um, then, you know, so we started to look at those three views. We looked at the various terms that are in the Bible that have been mistakenly translated as hell. In the Old Testament, you have a term like Sheol. In the New Testament, you have a whole cluster of words like Gehenna and Tartarus and, uh, and Hades. And none of them mean the same thing. And, and so once you start to define those terms and you start to investigate the history of how these things have been interpreted by various streams in the Church, you realize, wow, this is far from cut and dried. And so what I really wanted to do was to make a film that took this stuff out of the seminary and onto the street, so to speak, because I think there's a lot of people who wrestle with this very basic question that you'll hear in Sunday school, is how could a loving God um, send people to hell for all eternity? And so clearly there's been a lot of thinking done on this in the history of the Church. Most people don't have time to read that sort of thing, so I want to make a film that would take it to, take it to a broad audience. 